Welcome to Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well. Today we're going to look at, do William and Catherine speak to Archie in a little bit? That's what we're going to basically focus on today. Welcome back to the greatest show on earth, Famous Fortunes, with your host, Lord of the Pigs. And I'll have you know that I did wake up this morning to Panda and Honey, a little bit of a squabble going on in the free range pigo area. So I don't know what that's all about. Honey looks a little bit miffed this today, really. Uh, she's looking a little bit miffed even this afternoon. So I don't know what's going on there, but a little bit of back and forth. We'll have to, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to have to investigate. I'll keep you updated, of course. But other than that, everyone's good. Other than that, everyone is fantastic, folks. How are you going today? Let's let's find out. Have, has William and Catherine ever spoken with Archie and Littlewood or ever had any sort of communication with them since they've gone sort of, you know, moved away to the United States. Has there been any communication with with them at all? Let's let's get into it. Let's find out. And of course, yes, I, I can hear I already hear a certain segment of the audience saying they don't exist. I can already hear it now. I don't need you could well please go ahead and put your thoughts in the comments. Uh, and how does this charade end, I suppose, if you think that that's another interesting one. So let's let's dive in. Have they ever spoken with Archie a little bit? Has there ever been any communication between them? What's going on? Let's dive in. Let's get involved. Cards are hot. But we have Six of Swords. That's like moving away, right? Moving away. We're kind of talking about that. Four of four of Cups, right? The Star. The Star. The Chariot. And the Three of Coins. Underlying energy, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. Hmm. A lot of moving cards here with the Chariot, the Six of Swords, sort of moving energy. We are talking about them moving away, right? Has there been any communication? Well, okay, not necessarily, uh, or not a lot anyway. I mean, maybe there's a hint here that there was some sort of special occasion or once or twice, or something along those lines. Uh, with a star, no, who knows what that could be? It could be a birthday, it could be you know some major royal event or something along those lines. So there's there's some indication there that that's it's possibility. However, I mean, if you look here at the Four of Cups, it's not a good sign at all that this has happened. It's sort of it sort of kind of very much says that it hasn't really happened. I mean, the Three of Coins is kind of really saying that the best is that. Uh, you know, there's no direct communication. It always has to go through, you know what I'm saying, through uh, Megan and Harry in this case. You know what I'm saying, that kind of thing. Megan and Harry. It's not, um, I'm not getting a card of sort of major communication. I mean, we know that there's been no visits, really. So, I mean, the chariot can't be used to sort of say, well, they've seen them in person and all the rest of it, you know, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so... Uh, I know. I know the default answer is they don't exist. I understand this. I understand this. Okay, so let's uh, let's dive in. Let's dive in more. Dive in more. Will there ever be any communication? Let's 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 look at that into the future. Will there ever be any communication while they're still you know living in with I guess Archie and Lily are still living with mum and dad. I use those terms loosely, I guess. But in any event, let's let's move let's move forward. Will there be any communication? are hot. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles. Ah, it's an often often mentioned card in the show. We'll have to talk about that. Ace of Swords. We will talk about that. Ace, excuse me, Eight of Swords. Eight. Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Swords, King of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So many strange cards. A birth Mother card. The Queen of Pentacles is a Birth Mother card. Uh, and also, looks, look at this. It's it's not possible with the Eight of Swords. It's not, it's not a possible thing to happen. Eight of Swords is like, it is actually out of the question. Why is that out of the question? It looks like it's 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 completely tied up and not possible. That's the that's what I'm saying. Queen, there's a sort of communication here. There's, a, there's, there's some type of... How can I say this? Let's just say this broadly. With the King of Swords, there's some type of issue that's preventing this to happen. Uh, and it's obviously, look at this, causing a lot of stress here with the Nine of Swords. It's, uh, it's, it is stressful when these things happen, but 
you know, this is a very interesting card. And and with the, the, the birth, we'll call it the birth mother card. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is. Uh, it is a birth mother card in this context and in every context in these readings. But here with the Eight of Swords, it's not possible. There's some, what's the word? Injunction. Is it, That's what's coming to mind. It's like getting like an SMS injunction, injunction, like a, you know, I'm not literally getting an SMS, folks. I'm not saying I'm getting leaks or anything. I'm just saying it's like a message I'm getting just uh, from my subconscious, let's say. Uh, and it is injunction. It's just not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. So, of course, we're going to be cheeky buggers and ask, why isn't it possible? I mean, it's, it's stressing people out. It's really stressing people out. Someone's moved on or someone's moving on. Uh, very strange. Very strange. Why isn't it possible? Let's dive in. Let's go deeper. What's this? Flopping around. Again, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords again. Okay, Prince of Cups. Four of Swords. Why isn't it possible? Prince of Cups, Four of Swords, the Hermit. Ten of Swords. Oh, Six of Coins. Okay, why isn't it possible? Well, I mean, this is a very interesting card. They're distressed. This is so, it's a lot of distress sort of energy here underlying this. Under a lot of distress energy. Uh, look at this Ten of Swords. It's just, again, uh, the words, it's just not possible, have to come to mind. Uh, it's just absolutely out of the question. And I mean, there's some type of payment being made or sort of some something. It's it's not a deal. Like it's not a contract. It's like a, a payment for something, for something along those lines. The payment uh, has been made. I mean, look at this hiding. There's, there's, someone's in hiding. Someone is in hiding and, uh, uh, I don't know, silenced or, you know, silent. I'm not sure, folks, but uh, that seems to be the theme of the day. But I heard the kids thing, the kids and the email and all the rest of it, silencing some kids, can't speak out, folks. All right, box of vegetables, I suppose, is not bad. I mean, it could be worse. Got to be thankful for what you get, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I don't want to be the one to say to complain about gift giving, but, uh, I mean, you yeah, know, I'm being probably too humble here. Uh, in any event, I hope that were nice veggies, at least, you know what I'm saying? Like good quality, like organic store, you know what I mean? Like you can just say, I don't know. It's like, well, I don't know where you are, but sometimes fruits come in season and you can just tell from the supermarkets, they've been picked so early, they're sour, you know what I mean? They're not allowed to ripen. It's just not how it's meant to be. You know what I'm saying? It's all that sort of thing. Farmers markets, local produce, it's always better, isn't it? Um, so in any event, I don't know, do they ship in some fruit and veggies from the from the farm in Montecito. I mean, let's hope so, right? Let's hope so. How are the chickens going? I wonder. How are the chickens going? How are the Are they okay? Are they still there? Is everyone good? All right, moving on. Uh, moving on. Uh, okay, it, it, very strange cards. I mean, look at this. It's like someone's... I don't know. What is this card? I mean, this is a card of what was it, someone's past. They're buried. I don't know. I mean, what, what can I read here? It's very strange. Strange, gone, out of sight. I mean, payments are being made. Uh, folks, I mean, what do I say here? What do I say? It's always, always, without a shadow of a doubt, the strangest cards you'll ever see. Uh, on any topic, it's this topic. This is the topic where the cards just get so extremely bizarre, don't they? They do. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. We all know it. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Green tea today. All right. So... I mean, that's it. Um, are William and Catherine ever sort of... Are, is there going to be any communication from the Sussexes to any of the children of William and Catherine? That's what, what I'm asking. Are, are they going to let the Sussexes sort of speak to them or what? Or what? Let's let's throw the sort of the... Let's spin the, spin the question around a bit. Let's see what's going on there. Cards are hot. Seven of Wands. 
Judgment, Nine of Swords, Six of Coins, Seven of Cups, and the Ten. Look at that, Ten. Happy Families, Ten of Ten of Cups. Judgment, a major decision's been made here. Look at this, standing their ground. It's like defending, defending themselves. Defending themselves. Look at this, it's causing them a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of stress. A lot of stress having to stand their ground on this issue. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it sort of, it makes me think, it makes me think, have you ever had people with your kids and you sort of had to be like, well, you know, people start to talk smack to your kids, you know, that kind of thing, like where it's just sort of like, where are you going with that? You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you doing? I don't know, reading them a bench book or whatever. You know what I mean? That sort of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's sort of like, yeah, let's not, let's not do that. You know what I mean? Let's just not, let's just not do that. But okay, what I'm seeing is that, um, I mean, maybe, I mean, look, okay. I mean, that there, there is an energy, strong energy of being defensive here is the underlying energy. Yes, a decision's been made. Yes, um, it's stressing people out. Yes, there may be, a, a, there may be a, a possibility. There's a possibility on the cards, possibility that, this could be something, you know, with the families at some stage. I guess uh, what I'm seeing is I'm not seeing unreasonable energy. I'm just seeing, and I'm not seeing whatever we saw before. I mean, I, how do you even categorize that weirdness? But I'm seeing it's sort of defensive energy. It's sort of, you know, it's possible, but, you know, sort of things, whatever, like a little bit. But, you know, it's just weird. It's like, I don't know, I'm getting sort of very, I don't know, they're having to sort of, you know, what are their concerns? Why? Why? Let's find. Let's find out. What are their concerns? This is Catherine and William. What, uh, what are their concerns over this issue? I don't, I don't want to assume. Let's let the card speak. Let the card speak. Cards are hot. All right. Look at this. Ten of Swords, underlying energy. Queen of Cups. Let the card speak. Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Coins. Okay, so yes, this... What's the issue? Is there obviously the conflict between them. The conflict between the two parties, two families, let's say. Well, it's two families. One family. Two, two sides of the family. Conflict. There's fighting between them. This seems to be the issue. You can see why they're in defense. This is the real defensiveness here. This is the, the Ten of Swords kind of does speak to, I mean, a few, could be a lot of things, actually. You know what I mean? Given that, we, in fact, a few readings, you know, before this one in this episode, we did see a Ten of Swords in relation to a, you know, question on the sort of, on the, on the Sussex side. You know, where are they? Where are they? And it's sort of like, maybe just because they don't exist. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not saying, it's just, it's a strange question. It's a strange, it's a strange card to see. So it could be because they're non-existent, or it could be because um, the sort of the relationship is dead. You could say that the relationship itself is dead, um, or you know, a, a real decision's been made. We saw with the judgment card, so we're getting quite a lot of energy here, quite a lot of energy. It's always very difficult to read. I mean, this is what's this? So we've got a king and queen of cups. This is this is the prince and. Uh, the prince and princess of uh, Wales now, right? Wales now. You got to keep up with the Waleses now. Um, I did see though the king went for a walk in Scotland, and these like guys on their motorbikes and GoPros, or what is it, motorbikes, mountain bikes and GoPros, ran into him just on a solo walk in a misty Scotland countryside. Uh, I, honestly, that really—I don't know—I felt that touch my heart. That was quite something special, wasn't it? Don't you think it's special? You run into it. You just, you're riding along, and there's like middle of nowhere, and you just run into a king. You know, have a chat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's it's quite profound if you think about it. It's quite profound. I was reading about the king of Morocco. Oh, don't get me started. He, I don't know, he's, probably, he's probably the king of the king of some neighborhood in Paris, by the sounds of it, where he spends most of his time. But all right, I don't want to sort of burn my bridges if they ever get to Morocco and they find out or whatever. They find out I've said something. You know what it's like. You say, oh, you can't say things. You can't say things against you know something. Oh, you know whatever. Um. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. I don't know. Who's been to Morocco? Anyone? Let, let it be known in the comments. Who's been? But uh, 
I don't know. They're gonna have to do something now. It's pretty. It's a pretty sad set of affairs. But uh, in any event, in any event, in any event, Australia does have a king. It's it's amazing thing to say. We don't say it often enough. Australia does have a king. It's true. King's birthday coming up soon in some states. I think is it some states. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Quite, to be honest, I don't quite follow it. But um, yeah. In any event. In any event, it's it does move around. All right, so what did the king want for his birthday? He wanted Daniel Andrews gone. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on, folks, moving on. All right, so, uh, I mean, this just speaks to the general conflict. Look, they're working on a solution, folks. They're working on a solution. Uh, they're working on it. This is the, the, the Wales's. This is the Wales's. I mean, I've seen on the show many times, it doesn't look like there's going to be much... Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be much contact or anything like that from Archie and Lilibet sort of happening. Uh, I did get the call that um, Prince Charles had offered them some sort of reconciliation. And then Harry, it came out in the news a few days ago, Harry turned it down. And people was like, there's no way the king did that. I'm like, oh no, it's just on the cards. It's just on the cards. I should have made a more song of dance about that at the time. But, you know, I mean, regular viewers and all that. The regular viewers are going to know it. I know, a lot of people just balk. Sometimes you balk at the first reading, but this is why you've got to read the cards, because sometimes um, sometimes things look strange, and you've got to really question just what on earth is going on, and you've got to, you've got to call the cards objectively. Not what you want to hear, you know what I'm saying? It's very easy to lie to yourself. Um, all right, all right. What else do you want to know? Let it be known in the comments, and uh, I'll see you there.